Wow, this is amazing. I plugged those holes up an hour ago. That bee is still looking for its home. See it? I see another one too. Look. I was really thinking they shut, they only operated in the spring. But they've been continuing to operate here. And uh, I, uh, this insecticide is limited in value, and I thought, I'm just going to fill those in. Actually, I was thinking about filling them in anyway, the big holes. Fill them in with, um, see how big those holes get? Fill them in with thin set. I think I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Look at that scene. Might be a dip. He's he started looking for his home as soon as I filled him in. It's been an hour. All right, today I'm going to show you how to um, fill carpenter bee holes with uh, cement. If you got big holes like I do, if you got the little holes like this I'd say you could just use caulk or or glue tube glue to squirt glue in there be good enough but <clears throat> I got big holes so I'm going to use this thin set tile mortar this has floor tile mortar but it's working okay I've already tried it see that I don't know if you can see where it says thin set they call it thin set right there that's what everybody calls it and it's sticky enough it doesn't run out I think if you use cement regular cement it'll just run out and uh, unless you do it dry and that's no fun and then another thing is uh, like drywall mud uh, when the rain hits it it'll it'll just wash away so let's see find something to sit there. I should have bring a little tripod but oh boy how's that that's pretty good. I mean, this is this is easy, but then again, most guys like to show you everything. So this is how I do it. You just take the scoop like that. Get a few scoops like that. This stuff too. Now, after I do this, I'm going to want to put it in a garbage bag and, and close the top of it and put it in the basement in the driest room in the basement because uh, it'll absorb moisture and it'll ruin it. I mean you'll have a year or two but but uh, so there I've got that. Now let's get a little water. Here's a little bucket right here I guess. Want to use kind of clean water. Here's some pretty clean water. I'm not going to show you the whole process really, but I, I get it. I, I enjoy this. I enjoy working with cement, concrete, concrete. This is cement, I guess. Driveways are made of concrete, even when it's wet. Here's a delivery. Deliver us stuff out here for free, I don't know, but Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut until I'm done. That's about it. So I've gotten to get all in the corners. Make sure there's no dry stuff anywhere. Do like that. Whip it up. Ain't that nice? This is good material. Doesn't cost a heck of a lot, but eight bucks for this bag. Look at the size of those holes. Ain't that ridiculous? I got them all over the place. This barn was just filled with carpenter bees in the spring. And I kind of thought they get, you know, I was spraying them. And I kind of thought after the spring they would be done, but I've seen them still messing around, so anyway, I figured this would be a good idea. Whatever season it was. 
fill in them holes. It really won't help with structural, but it'll help with them not making them any bigger. This is fun. I enjoy this sort of thing. It's not, you know, it's not tedious. Of course, if I do every hole here, I'll get tired. It would be tedious to do every single hole. I'm not going to, I'm just going to do this bucket and then I'll move on to something else. Yeah, it seems like too they don't do this inch wood as much. They like that two inch wood, but how they can tell the difference, I don't know. That's about as much a range, I think. You can't see up here, can you? Nope. So I guess that's all you can really see for now. Except I'll show you, there's one there. See, that's the two inch, but then you go to the one inch board, you don't see it. But, see there's a bunch up there. All these two inch bowls are just, just filled with, just drilled and drilled. It's not so bad inside the barn either. This is kind of a, you know, outdoor, semi-outdoor. They love it. Look at the size of that one. Just a little four inch post too. See, that's compromised a little bit. The same with over there, same way. I need to replace those columns probably. But for now, I'm doing what I'm doing. And that's all I'm doing. This is the old handyman, old gardener, old farmer, signing off for this minute.